Hey, Harish. So I see you got two questions. Let me get to the first one first. So it says, would an if-else statement work after the first part of the list matching? So um, an if statement, yeah, would work. So the way you want to think about it is there's, you don't need an else. So the way, the way you want to think about it is there are two cases, right? One case is where you made a match. And that case is taken care of inside your for loop. Because if there are any matches, you have this um, if condition in here, and, and you take care of any of the matches inside the for loop. After the for loop, then you're going to do another check. And if there were no matches, that's when you print out your no matches um, statement, right? So you take care of your matches inside the for loop, and you take care of the no match statement afterwards in your, in your if statement, OK? Um, the other question was um, Boolean no match. Oh, what should I put into the first if parentheses? Boolean no match equals true would need some classes class to be added. So I'm not sure. There's there's a couple of things I'm seeing here. So one is I see a capital B here. Um, 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 um. The the boolean that I'm talking about is the primitive type. Okay, so uh, there's so there's types like int, boolean, char, double, and long. This is in section 3.7 that are are primitive types. Um, and there, there are actually, um, you know, let me see. If you if you Google like Java Boolean, there are uh, there is a capital B Boolean, but that's not the one I'm talking about. The um, and you know we probably and there's an, also an integer and a double with capitals, but but those are not those are the object um, types. Uh, and what I'm talking about is the primitive type Boolean. So you want a lowercase b, um, and what else? Yeah, and and um, so this so this should compile without any trouble. Okay, setting it to true. Now, as far as your if conditions, the way that if works is. Um, You know what? I'll send you a separate um, video on how if works because um, if you're not clear on, like if you're trying to put this whole expression into your if, then you're not clear on how if works. So I'll, I'll send you a, a separate thing on on how you put Boolean expressions into um, in in the parentheses there. But um, so for now, I'll just say we're we're using the primitive type Boolean. And um, yeah, your if goes under here.